Shadows of the Manor, the Hawthorne family legacy. In the desolate outskirts of a forgotten town stood an eerie Victorian mansion shrouded in an ominous aura. The Hawthorne family resided within its crumbling walls, each member harboring secrets that would forever haunt their lives. Father Hawthorne, a renowned surgeon, possessed a cold and calculating demeanor. His piercing gaze held a sinister glint, as if he could dissect the very souls of those who crossed his path. Mother Hawthorne, a delicate and ethereal figure, seemed forever lost in a realm of her own. Her frail body bore the scars of countless sleepless nights, her eyes haunted by visions only she could see. Sister Hawthorne, Eleanor, was a peculiar child with an uncanny ability to see the dead. Her pale skin and raven hair gave her an otherworldly appearance, and her piercing blue eyes held a depth that belied her tender years. Brother Hawthorne, Edgar, was a troubled young man plagued by nightmares and hallucinations. His erratic behavior and violent outbursts instilled fear in the hearts of those around him. One fateful night, as a storm raged outside, the family gathered in the grand drawing room. The flickering firelight cast grotesque shadows upon their faces, revealing the hidden depths of their torment. Father Hawthorne paced restlessly, his fingers twitching nervously. Mother Hawthorne sat motionless in an armchair, her eyes vacant and unfocused. Eleanor stared into the flames, her gaze lost in a world beyond comprehension. Edgar sat hunched over a book, his face contorted in a mask of terror. Suddenly the walls began to creak and groan, as if the house itself were alive. A chill ran down the spines of the Hawthorns as they realized that they were not alone. The sound of footsteps echoed through the empty hallways, growing louder with each passing moment. Fear gnawed at their minds as the footsteps drew closer. They exchanged terrified glances, their hearts pounding in their chests. Then, with a deafening crash, the door to the drawing room flew open. Standing in the doorway was a grotesque figure. Its skin was pale and sickly, its eyes sunken and lifeless. Its mouth was twisted into a cruel grin, revealing rows of razor-sharp teeth. The Hawthorns gasped in horror as they recognized the intruder. It was their own deceased grandmother. The room erupted in chaos. Eleanor screamed and ran for her life, her bare feet pounding across the cold marble floor. Edgar charged at the apparition with a poker, but his blows passed through it as if it were made of mist. Father Hawthorne frantically searched for his scalpel, but it was nowhere to be found. Mother Hawthorne remained motionless, her eyes wide with terror. As the apparition advanced towards her, she let out a piercing wail that echoed through the house. The walls seemed to close in around them, suffocating them with a sense of inescapable doom. And so, the Hawthorns met their gruesome end, their secrets and their torments, forever etched into the haunted halls of their cursed mansion. And as the storm raged on outside, the screams of the damned echoed through the night, a chilling reminder of the horrors that lurked within the walls of the Hawthorne house. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with chills unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.